I've been watching the dark series for the last couple of weeks and I thought what if I can create that god particle thing in blender and here is the result I made everything fully procedurally in the geometry nodes and I'm going to show you how I did it in this tutorial let's get started first of all let's see how we can make these curve lines my approach to create that sphere shaped line is by adding some curve lines make them noisy and apply their position to an arco spheres position so I added a grid plus a curve line I distributed some points on the grid and I used the curve lines as instances on points after that I realized the instances and I set their position to make them noisy it's not working properly because I need more points between the top and the bottom of each line I can do it by adding a resample curve node after the realize instances node this value will be used as our lines resolutions I set up my noise setting by adding a noise texture and connect its color to the offset of the set position node. Then I control and fix it by doing some math. After that I added another set position node to kind of shrink wrap the curve lines on the icosphere faces. I need to prepare my icosphere's location and scale before I catch its position. Then I use it as the target of a geometry proximity node and I connect the position output to the position input of my curve lines and there we go, I have the lines on the icosphere surface. I can mix that position value with the original position of the lines to have control and determine a sensible factor for that. I add another set position node and I wanna go crazy by adding the final layer of noises and wrap it up. Instead of the offset, I connect the noise setup to the position this time. I can change the noise texture's dimension to 4D and animate my god particle from this W value. Now I'm just changing some values to make it look better and I will share the final note tree with you all at the end as well. After making things noisy, I go ahead and I convert it to mesh and I use a circle curve as the profile curve and I change its resolution and radius to lower amounts. Don't forget to checkbox this fill caps option. Now I can make it more fancy by adding a set curve radius node before converting it to the mesh and give it a custom profile by plugging in a factor field as the radius and use a flout curve to customize it. At the end of the modeling, I added the remesh modifier after the geometry node modifier and I give it a low voxel size and boom! You can see we blow it up and it looks way better than before remeshing it. Before we continue the tutorial, I wanna take your time to give you a gift for the Christmas. I've made a visual guide for Blender node shortcuts that will help you to work way faster in Blender using the hotkeys. It's available on Gumroad which I'll leave its link in the description. The first 20 people who use the coupon code YT on Christmas will get the product for free. You can see the spoil of the coupon code on the screen. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Let's get back to the tutorial. It's time to make some details like that glowing sphere inside the object and those moving dusts around it. I'm gonna do that by adding another geometry nodes modifier and add the details there. The blue light inside the god particle can be done by just adding an icosphere, scale it down and finally set up a noise setting like we did before. And the dust will be created by adding a volume cube, turn it to the mesh and use a noise texture as the density of that. Use a map range or a color ramp between the noise texture and the volume cube to contrast it and after that give it a higher resolution. Then as always in this tutorial, I set up the noise setting to animate and deform the dust. At last, you should join every node setups by adding a join geometry node. And now we are prepared to create the materials. I just added another object and I rename it to material editor. And I just used this object to add the materials and rename them in order not to get very confused with selecting them in the geometry node editor. I've got three objects so I add three materials and I rename them to got particle, dust and the blue light. Then I select my main object and I go to the geometry node editor and I add a set material node for each node setup. And at last I select the materials I named earlier. Now I can go to the shading workspace and select my material editor object and if I change the materials properties the change will apply on the god particle as well. 
So as not to waste time, I'm not going to talk through creating the materials. And instead, these are the final materials if you need. The materials are quite simple, but the essential thing about them is you need to do this in cycles. I'm gonna give you an explain on this blue light material. By adding this light path and this mix shader, I'm saying if it's in the camera array, just transparent it. And by that, I mean if I just connect this emission node to the surface, and use it directly you can see something annoying here and it's the icosphere we added in the geometry node and by doing this i just transparent that icosphere and i only keep the lights i think you can barely see the difference but just trust me it makes a huge difference to animate the god particle or the other object, just add a scene time node and plug the seconds output to a math node and adjust the math node to divide. After that, connect the result to the noise texture's fourth dimension. Now if you increase the second value of the math node, the animation speed gets slower and backwards as you decrease this value, the animation's speed speeds up. Do this animating setup for all the three objects. Now I'm gonna show you how I made that gaseous dust that are floating around the cut particle in the geometry node and this is the final step of the details and after that we are going to see how we can render it and see a preview of what we did so far. So this is the volume setup and as you can see I started with the volume cube and I just turn it to the mesh and after that I deform it with the set position node and the noise setup we did it in this tutorial a lot and I just grouped it in here I can ungroup it by just pressing ctrl alt g and you can see it better and after deforming that and animating it with this animation setup I turn it back to the volume and this is our dust and one additional thing you can do is use a noise texture plus a color ramp to make it contrasty as the density of the volume cube and you can also animate the noise texture with this animation setup I've also made another layer of volume into another object or another geometry node setup basically and it's almost the same thing but the only difference is uh, in this one I didn't checkbox this fill volume option and you can see it's checked in here and it's not checked in here and I can just check it and you can see the difference it's the setup if you like it and here is a quick tip on how to see a preview of your animation as fast as you can if you have a problem with playing the animation like me and the project file is very heavy for you Firstly, add and place a camera in your scene and secondly, go to the output properties and change the frame rate from 24 to 29.97 and set a frame range to say how many frames you want to be rendered. Thirdly, choose a folder to render the frames in it and at last enter 50 for the resolution scale percent to render your frames in HD res and double times faster. Pay attention that you need to change it back to 100 at the final render to get a full HD render at the end. While you are in the camera view, turn off the show overlays option and go to the view menu and choose render viewport animation. Then wait until it gets done. After it got done, from the render menu choose the view animation option to take a look at it. Then just see how it looks and if you were unhappy about that, just go back and change the animation setting and render it again until you get happy with it. You can also do the same by adding an HDRI environment texture and render it in material preview so as to test the lights and objects animation before going for the final render. That's it guys, I think I said everything you need to know to pull this project off. In the end, I want to give a shout out to all my Patreons who are supporting me and saying that I do appreciate your support and it helps me out to create more high quality content. Before I forget, I was going to say that this project file including the God Particle Generator and all the assets I modeled myself for the scene are available on my Patreon. Go and get it if you like. Thanks for watching guys, wish you the best and stay tuned for the next.